<laughs> What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Mikey Bustos, bringing you another random but helpful ant video and tutorial. This is our Halloween edition uh, of an Ants Canada tutorial. This one in particular is to follow the last tutorial we did on um, social parasites and uh, semi-claustral queens. Um, recently we received a very helpful email from somebody from Poland by the name of Lukas Sokolowski and uh, I'm just gonna read you what he wrote to us. Hi, my name is Lukas and I am an ant keeper from Poland. I have seen your video about social parasites in ants in which you said that you were unsuccessful in introducing the social parasite queen into the host colony. I think I may help you with that. As a matter of fact, a lot of ant keepers in Poland and the rest of Europe succeed in starting the colonies of social parasites. I am sure that you can do it as well, you just have to change your methodology a little bit. You said that you tried to introduce your parasites to the small and big colonies of host species. In Poland, we just add some workers of the host species to the social parasite queen. Then the queen of the host species is not involved in the process which is beneficial because the parasite queen doesn't have any rival. In nature, the queens make something like a propaganda war. They compete with each other using pheromones. The other thing is that you have to do the entire process, we call this process an adoption, in the refrigerator. The workers of the host species may be aggressive and start fighting with the queen of the parasite, but in low temperatures the workers act like they are in slow motion. The aggression rate is lower, and the smell of the parasite queen may mix with the scent of the host workers with no obstacles. Using this method, I successfully started colonies of European parasitic species of Laceus umbratus and Formica rufa. It works almost every time. There are some parasite queens such as Formica sanguinea that are extremely aggressive and usually they kill the host workers we offer to them. In such cases, you need to add pupae of host workers. The queen is able to open the cocoons on her own and then she accepts the host workers with no problems. I hope that you find this information useful and good luck. Lukas Sokolowski Thank you so much Lukas for writing in. Just had to create this video because there you go. People in Europe have been able to do it successfully which is introduce a social parasitic queen to a host colony um, which is wonderful you know and, and I knew Europeans had the method down somewhere <laughs> so um, so yeah there you have it apparently the social parasite queen masks herself uh, with a pheromone and that tries to convince the workers that she is the queen and not whoever their real queen is um, and they have a propaganda war <laughs> If that ever did happen, it would probably look something like this. Do 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 do. Ants Canada, Ants Canada. All original formicaria. Ants Canada, Ants Canada. Sure. Oh, okay. well, what is this? I think I could it be I'm, I'm a host sure. colony? Mm -hmm. Time to fulfill my <laughs> destiny. All right, come on, guys. I, I think I found some food over there, but I'm, I'm just not too sure. Uh, you know, I think if we follow this trail, we can we can get to to the food. You know, so let's go. Whoopee! Excuse me, uh, coming through. Hey, wait a second. You're not one of us. We are not letting you through. Yeah, we're not letting you through. You're not one of us. Yeah, get her. No, wait. On the contrary, my children, I am in fact your queen. <laughs> hmm. Mommy, mommy. What are you doing here? <laughs> oh, please accept our apologies, Your Royal Highness. We couldn't recognize you here so close to ground level. Please, come inside. It's not safe for you out here. Yes, yes, thank you, my children. I am your mommy, and your true colony queen. Meanwhile, back inside the nest... Yes, come in. My queen, Your Highness, there is another ant in the nest closer to the surface that is claiming she is the true queen. <laughs> Don't be silly, that's impossible. I am your queen. There is no other. See? Mmm, yes, it's true. You are our queen. 
Please forgive me, Your Highness. I shall spread the news. <coughs> Attention, Colony. This is one of your thousands of sisters. We have a very important message. Our true queen is here and intact. Do not believe the pheromones of any strange queen you may smell, no matter how queeny. There you are. What? Wh who are you? What are you doing here? How did the majors let you in? I do not know what you speak of, you imposter. I am the true queen of this colony. See? <coughs> oh, blasphemy! How dare you speak to the queen like that? <coughs> Workers, seize her! No, I am the queen. As for you, you imposter, these daughters have no other queen but me! No, I am the real queen! I am queen! No, I am queen! I am! I am! I am the one and only queen! Never! You both smell. You both smell. You both smell. You both smell so. You both smell so. You both smell so. Uh, you both smell so convincing, and we do not know who our true queen is. My daughters, I raised you from the moment I built the claustral cell last year. Look at her small gaster. Does it look like she was able to fully sustain herself through the cold winter months and be able to nourish a generation of Nantics on her own? <clears throat> well, I'm sure you may be right, or oh, possibly might be queen of ours, but we trust our antennae, and right now she is smelling quite convincing with her pheromone identification. Yes, because I am your real queen, my children. Now go and slay that fake queen. She is an intruder. No, you mustn't. <laughs> Smell me! I am your queen! What is wrong with you all? No, she isn't! Get her! Come on, ladies, you heard the queen! Let's get her! Yeah! Come on, yeah! Ah! Uh, no! Smell me! I am your queen! No, uh... Ah, uh, thank you, my children. Now, let me go get cozy in this room here a little bit. <laughs> my brand new bedroom... Ah, uh, <laughs> I mean... My old, comfortable, and familiar bedroom that I have lived in for all of time. <laughs> all right, if any of you guys do try this at home, make sure to document everything and send it to us because we would love to see any successful social parasite introduction. Anyways... We'd like to wish everybody a happy Halloween here from Canada. On behalf of the Ants Canada team, thank you guys so much for your support. And uh, do spread the ant love. <laughs>